Hello guys, uh, today as you see we have bonanza of LED lights. So I have um, in my mind one uh, interesting idea of using some kind of uh, strip look like, um, strip looking like LEDs. And uh, I saw those automotive related LEDs, LED modules, and I decided to uh, buy them and see how they work or and if they fit my needs. So here we are, we have four different kind of modules, um, all of them uh, automotive oriented I'm not sure about this guy if it's robot oriented but like still can be applied can be used uh, in automotive applications but uh, the main uh, thing around them is they all 12 volts I think pretty much all uh, or they are also technically they mean that mean that they can be used in automotive applications so let's check them one by one because obviously a lot of information is missing. For example, what's the um, current uh, this LED consume and you know and uh, other things. Maybe we can see on the construction uh, what kind of modules are inside and uh, things like that if we can actually get into it. Because some of them are supposed to be a waterproof-ish, which I don't know if I can trust, but like well, we, we, we all take a look. Anyways, uh, okay, let's, let's move some aside, like, you know, stagger them here. And let's take, they obviously got a little bit smooshed in the transportation and box kind of like whatever. So those two were purchased uh, from one uh, seller. This is something else and this is separate. I'm not even sure if this is actually the motive oriented, but like I like them, especially the way they shipped. Uh, so uh, the first one is daytime running lights. So I'm curious what's the, uh, what's the what's, uh, how much light this guy produce and how much they uh, consume because uh, I mean, it's very important. Oh, oh, yeah, and another important thing, how much heat they uh, generate, because look at those dinky modules. They are pretty, pretty small and thin. So if they produce lots of heat, they're gonna just, you know, self-destroy eventually. So what do we have here? We have two modules. We have two modules with quite long, it's a bit longish leads, I think. Oh, yeah, and this one, self-adhesives over here. So you can technically just, you know, put this like this and glue to something you want presumably car uh, it's kind of funny because i already see this thing is not <coughs> excuse me this thing is not like waterproof uh, let's pop it open here oh yeah it's very flimsy like it's very soft aluminium and you can just push it out like this So it's not cooperating and let's and you see the leads and PCB right here so I'm not sure how waterproofy that gonna be probably not waterproofy at all uh, so that's maybe only for interior unless you try to pot it all in some kind of compound and then may be used be able to use it outside uh, outdoor so yeah this is high 100% for interior uh, as you notice over here there is more um, Leads theoretically they were designed to be like staggered, which is actually an interesting idea um, So as you see as you see over here, there's a row of two um, Cob LEDs uh, Which is nice and they are potted in some kind of uh, yellow resin So this is supposed to be white LED uh, and in order to actually understand how they work and how much light they produce We have to power it up I'm curious, maybe I should open all of them and then power them up one by one just to have a comparison between them. <clears throat> so uh, I'm gonna move this aside. Then you're gonna take a look at next one. Let's take a look at this one. So this one is a bit different design and as you see, it looks like if you can judge by the image on the box, Obviously two of them, there is nothing else in the box, put them aside. So they look like this, ah, okay, I already see a discrepancy. Over here it's more LEDs on the picture than actually I got. What the jerks? Yep, Can tr cannot trust anyone these days. So they look similar in terms of like, it's a strip, but they have lenses, in com like in, if you compare this and to this one and uh, I don't know if you can get inside 
Over here on the box it says AP65, some, some sort of waterproofness-ish. Uh, but I'm not sure if I can, let me see if you can trust that. Okay, so back thing you can kind of peel off. Yeah, it's some somewhat waterproofy, maybe. Maybe a few splashes. We have six uh, LEDs, and those are cheap LEDs. Uh, I don't think they are really cob LEDs, similar to. Okay, you can. I can actually get inside. Oh yeah, that's how it look like. Those are cheap LEDs. LED on chips, and they are on flexible. Oh, this one is flexible. This is cool because that one doesn't seem to be because it has ceramic uh, backing and aluminum plate for heat dissipation. This one is flexible, which is cool because you can bat, bend the, the the module the way you want. So I'm not sure about how about heat dissipation. I'm not sure if this rubber is actually any kind of heat dissipating type, but this seems to be. Um, uh, my, um, less powerful construction, so I assume that would produce way less light than the other one. Yeah, I cannot judge about waterproofness, but I don't think it's going to be any waterproofness of any kind. Maybe like a little bit of splash proof or something like that, kind of. So this is uh, another interesting module. Uh, the only what I can, what good about this one, it probably would uh, consume way less milliamps than the in this one because it seems like less LEDs and they are less powerful judging by heat. I'm gonna put this aside, I'm gonna leave one of each in front of me like all this goes away. Oh yeah by the way this comes with some sort of uh, fasteners like with some little screws which can be which can screw this thing into into the, into the body of some sort. You see this one already falling apart like how, what the hell are they talking about waterproofness? Jeez Okay, let's look at this guy. So this guy looks like a little thin. Go, oh, come on. Yeah, here we are. Module of one row of top uh, LEDs. One. Looks like actually not one. Let's see if you really close, look closely. No, it's actually one. And again, I'm not sure if that's this flexible because it's pretty much the same story. It's aluminum plate and ceramic, uh, uh, sorry, a ceramic PCB and aluminum plate glue to it. So it would crack if you bend it. So it's not uh, flexible and bendable. Uh, what's nice about it, it has silicon um, or silicon-ish uh, leads. Feels so much better than others. It's cool. Again, this is nice because I like how narrow it is. It's slender, so it can be used in some kind of cool lighting application, not necessarily for automotive. So I already have idea about this uh, for this guy because I, I like this kind of thin and slender structure. So we have second one. Uh, gonna put it aside, and the last module I have over here. It's kind of similar to the very first one, obviously, they came from the same supplier and they are very similar actually. And they are already with some 3M tape on it. Is it waterproof of any kind? I don't think they say anything about waterproofness. No, say high power, it has to be high power. Oh, we'll see that. What kind of power are they? So this stuff is kind of glued together. This one is much more actually robustly glued together than previous one, so I'm gonna peel it. It's not going to peel it off, but we have here one, two, three. They have four windows. Each of them have six LEDs. So potentially this may be just a bit more powerful modules. Actually, they probably are because they look just bigger. Uh, so the, the the surface of these cob modules are probably twice bigger than over here it has less module though anyways so we have another um, contender just like that so you're gonna see which one is actually produces the most light and consume <laughs> less electricity <laughs> just you want because you want to have to use it in battery powered applications not necessarily for automotive when you have pretty much unlimited power from your car generator or alternator anyways uh, all right i do have my hewlett packard bench power supply over here just beside me and this beast actually loud as hell so please excuse me as i don't have anything better than that so prepare your ears 
Okay, guys. Uh, so my power supply is um, um, started. I put it into constant 12 volt. Then I set one amp. So it's gonna be a constant volt uh, mode for, set for 12 volt, and we will see because these guys don't have any regulation, as you notice, right? So I would like to see what current they consume, uh, what current, what they operational current. Uh, without any regulation, so they probably somewhat self-regulated. Uh, this is very, very interesting scenario because obviously, as we know, if voltage gonna go up, the the current gonna go up on this on this guy. So I assume this is very specific to automotive application, and for any other application, you have to be careful with these guys not to you know fry them. Okay, so let's attach to my. Power supply. Sorry for flimsy crocodile clips here. Okay. So here we are. So at 12 volt, it consumes 200 milliamps, and I would say it's reasonably bright. And I like how uh, how bright it is. Really hard to judge what <laughs> the lumen numbers. Uh, would have to do some sort of <laughs> measurement in compar comparable measurement. But this is what you get. I think it's pretty, uh, pretty good amount of light. It's nice white light. I'm curious what's gonna happen if I say we set 14 volts. Yeah, it's substantially much brighter. But at 14 volts, it consumes 550 milliamps. So at this rate this guy I'm pretty sure it's gonna overheat really really quickly it's already pretty warm so I'm gonna put it back to 12 uh, I'm not sure if it's twice, twice less bright but it's noticeably um, noticeably dimmer so 12 volt 220 milliamps let's uh, use let's connect next module Next module is going to be that another guy which looks similar and they claim it's high power. Okay, let's see. The same scenario, 12 volt. 360 milliamps. So yes, it is a bit more powerful, I don't know. And it looks like it's actually brighter. Yeah, it's brighter. It's hurt my eyes a little, even a uh, little if I look straight into it. 12 volt volt 360 milliamp it's not bad it's not bad again not sure was about the heat dissipation but it works okay let's take fake waterproof one and here's funny thing because it's not color coded it's coded so you're gonna connect it to marked wire positive gonna be to the mark wire so okay here we are it's substantially dimmer at 12 volt it it consumes 110 milliamps so it's still reasonably uh, bright the not short circuit here and uh, works well so probably okay for the battery powered applications not bad oh let's uh, give it a shot at 11 volt 11.1 11.1 it's like it's 100 milliamps so at 11.1, so from 3 cell battery, uh, lipo, lipo battery, it's going to be still producing this amount of light. It's not bad, so if you want to have it, use it as a flashlight, it may be quite uh, useful. Okay, and let's give it a shot and see how this guy works, a little slender unit at 12 volt. Okay, so this is very, very dim at 11.1 and consume only 30 milliamp. So let's do 12. Sorry, let's do 12 again. Okay, completely different story. It looks like 11 volt for this guy is no chuch, <laughs> how one guy say. So 12 volt actually 100 milliamp. So this one actually have... Um, voltage uh, minimum voltage probably requirement somewhere at, 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 the, at, uh, at the level of 12 volts so cannot work properly let's say let's try 11.5 yeah seems like somewhere around there uh, so 11.5 660 milliamp 
so somewhere around uh, 11 between 11 and 12 this is uh, 12 volt I, I would assume that's proper voltage for this guy <clears throat> Yeah, but it, and it's relatively dim. It's actually dimmer than I expected. Uh, it's kind of bummer. Let's bump it up to 14 volts. Yeah, this is I, this is when when I like it. It's I like this a lot. This is I would expect it to be. So right now at 14 volts, it's it's um, current is 370 milliamp. It's like substantial jump between 11.1 .1 and brightness obviously so much higher. This is I would like. It to be so this essentially means this guy gonna work at 5s uh, more like a 5s but it start to heat up really re okay, okay I have to stop that it's get really hot pretty quickly 12 volt so it's probably not designed for 14 volt because heat dissipation of this tiny tiny module is shit so it's not gonna work for long so 12 volts is fine so guys, uh, here is... Oh, I'm gonna shut down this guy. Boom. So here we are, the, these few modules, uh, these four modules I purchased uh, a bit up close. You can um, uh, see how they look like. So I must tell you that there are tons of them of, of different kinds available on eBay. And if you have any interesting ideas about how to use these kind of modules, please share and comment if this is even makes sense to use it um, outside the car, for example, to make a flashlight or any other things. Uh, maybe uh, because they are maybe not too efficient. Anyways, if you have any ideas, please share. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and see you next time.